Hello, my name is Joe Williamson from More Control and I'm going to be demonstrating to you the Onmon E3ZM indestructible sensor. The sensor has a stainless steel construction and is IP69K rated and we're going to perform a couple of tests to show you the durability of this unit. So this unit is retro-reflective, which means that uh, we're working along with a special reflector, which looks something like this. The indicator on the sensor at the moment shows that we've got power, and when an object breaks the beam between the sensor and reflector, we get the orange indicator, which tells us that it's getting an output. So one of the features about the sensor is its IP69K rating, which makes it ideal for food and beverage factories. If we take the sensor, we can completely immerse it in a glass of water. We'll just give that a little shake, put it back into position. You'll see the green power light is still operating and we're still detecting our object. Okay, so I've now introduced another sensor, which is a, an M18 retro reflective unit from another manufacturer. Standard plastic body, you can see the ceiling around the back here is uh, nothing too special. It's cheap and cheerful, it does the job, but it's not as environment proofed as our E3ZM. And the next little demonstration should hopefully show that the E3ZM is very, very durable. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to subject both sensors to the same mechanical test something that may be quite typical in any factory. As you can see, the uh, results are fairly conclusive. Uh, E3ZM sensor is still operational, as you can tell by its LED indicator. However, the competitor sensor has not fared so well. I think we could say that's probably going to uh, be a non-functioning item now. So, although this test was uh, rather extreme, it does go to show the durability of the E3ZM. Thank you for listening.